Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we are comparing two spring-loaded dumpers. We're going to play with Force Thump, a well-known Force Thump, and we put it against new competition, Impact Thump. By the end you should be able to make your own decision which is the Thump right for you. All you need to do is just click like, sit tight and enjoy. Just to remind you I got this Impact Thump from MHW3 Bomb, I will put the links in the description. I will also put my special discount code there, if you use it you can get the products a bit cheaper and I may earn some small commissions, a great way to support the channel. If you want to buy a Force Thump I will put my affiliate links for Amazon there as well. Both of those tampers they come in the boxes like so. Impact tamper I really really like the box the unboxing almost like an Apple product. Inside you will only find manual and you will find the tamper. Now with the force tamper the box definitely looks unusual but it looks cheap and I don't like it. Inside apart from the tamper apart from some paperwork you will also find that silicon bit that you can put the tamper on. To be honest since I got those porta keeper things on the back I don't use it. For stamper also comes with that pouch. I never use it. I have no idea why they include it in a box, but it is an extra thing, I guess. Let's just look at those two tampers. You can see immediately there are some differences. Obviously, it's very subjective to say which one looks better. If I was choosing just by the look, I would go for four stamper. Four stamper looks really good. It looks sleek. I like the design. Impact tamper looks bulky, looks big. It weighs 460 grams, where four stamper weighs only 300. 50 grams. Both of those tampers are made pretty much out of metal. Impact tamper has a silicon bit on top and according to the website that silicon attachment prevents wrist pain no matter how often you use it making coffee preparation a true pleasure. So that's an extra advantage of the silicon it gives you a true pleasure. For stamper you may choose different tops whichever works better for you. Some of them are made out of metal some of them are made out of wood. At the bottom of each of those tampers you have well you have tamping base obviously with four stamper you can choose few different designs and if you wish so you can buy all of them or some of them and it should be relatively easy to swap one for another with impact tamper at first you could only get the base with those ripples apparently it increases the contact with water we complained about it to mhw free bomb i spoke about it with them they said that this base is something that the chinese market prefers but eventually they introduced that flat base so now you can buy one with it the flat or the one with ripples. Unfortunately, you cannot swap those bases. This design does not allow you to swap the bases. Talking about the sizes of those stampers, four stamper comes in 53 millimeters, 54 millimeters, 58.35 and 58.50 millimeters. I have one that is 58.5 here. Impact tamper, on the other hand, you can buy at 51, 53 and 35 and 58.35 and that's for the base with those ripples. At the time of recording, if you go for a flat base, you can only get 58.35. Now, as the name suggests, spring loaded tampers, there are some spring insides. They use slightly different designs. Inside that impact tamper, you have horizontal spring, impact spring, position and spring, and returning spring. The impact tamper, they say you should not really open. Horse tamper, you can open it and you can also regulate the pressure, the tamping force. The force tamper generates punch with preset pressure each time independence to how the operation is done, less stamina consumed and improved particles arrangements and more tight. That's the direct quote. And they also say that it helps to make every cup of coffee uh, perfect and sure. Impact tamper, it's perfect for barista beginners, home baristas, professional baristas, people with limited strength and coffee enthusiast. And when then they talk and talk and talk why this tamper is so great. Both of them they perform in a very very similar way. You position the tamper on top of the filter basket, you apply a pressure, it will only allow you to use as much pressure as the tamper is designed for and then it just reloads itself so it's ready for another tamper. First of all I'm a big fan of those spring loaded tampers. I like the way they work, I like the click at the end, I like the idea that we get that constant tamping pressure. I know some of you are very against them some people say that because of that reloading they can disturb the pack, they can increase the channeling or so. I haven't noticed that. For me, both of them they work really really nicely but there are some differences. With the force tamper, the base is very very thin. What it means when it goes to the porta field 
filter, filter basket. If you're not 100% directly on top of the tamper when you apply the pressure, it is possible to do it unevenly. So yes, even though this is a self-leveling tamper, it is possible that you might not get the perfect pack. With the impact tamper, that base much, much thicker. So even if I try, it is, I wouldn't say impossible, but it's near impossible to tamp unevenly. I've been using it for months now, maybe twice or thrice when my hand slipped from the top of the tamper. I got slightly uneven top and that to myself is the biggest advantage of that impact tamper. Both of those tampers they can get messy because impact tamper has that open design on top. You can see clearly if there is any mess and it's much easier to just brush it off. That ripple base that attracts the coffee dust a lot. With the force tamper it's much much easier for the coffee dust to get in between those that space here and it is a bit tricky to wipe it off. We talk about the tamping itself, both of them they claim how easy it is to tamp. With the force tamper you pretty much do not apply much pressure, you get that click job done. With the impact tamper you have to put a little bit more force. If I was using it in a professional environment, after a whole day of, of tamping I probably would feel some aches and pains. Now in terms of how espresso flows while using those two tampers I haven't noticed any major differences. As long as you do the same pack prep as Espresso should run in about the same time. What I've noticed on average, uh, four stamper slows down an espresso by two seconds, but second or two, you know, that's within the margin of error, so I cannot claim anything here. So guys, if you are still here, definitely click like, consider subscribing to the channel, plenty more things coming. Probably next week we will talk about some very, very special coffee. We are expecting some new coffee toys anytime soon. Lots of things going on here. Now the question here, four stamper, impact tamper, which one to choose? It's a very, very similar but there is one huge difference here that we haven't talked about yet and that's the price. Impact tamper well the price fluctuates but let's say on average it will be 70 pounds. For stamper depending on which base you choose which top you choose it can be between 175 up to 200 pounds. <gasps> Even if the price was similar I would still recommend to go for impact tamper but with that huge difference in a price in my humble opinion impact tamper is the way to go. Obviously you can disagree maybe you have one of those two tampers maybe you have a tamper that is even better than those two please share your thoughts in the comments with us but for today thank you very much for watching my name is Jack this is my coffee show and hopefully I will see you soon thank you bye